There are 7 billion people in the world. Seven billion individual universes that house trillions of microbes. For these bacteria, fungi, and viruses, you are the Earth. And well, these microbiota have taken full advantage of your natural resources, forming a symbiotic relationship with your body and outnumbering your own cells 10 to 1. Well, this story is as old as time, that is, life on Earth, but has only recently emerged as a new scientific frontier. As humans evolved, so did our resident and unique microbial populations living inside and all over our bodies. The latest discoveries are found within the Human Microbiome Project, a project directed towards characterizing the microbiota found in our nasal, oral, gastrointestinal, and urogenital passages, as well as on our skin. So, why the sudden interest? Common ailments like obesity, allergies, and acne have a shared characteristic. Discordance within the microbiome has been implicated in all of these issues. Thus, we know that our microbiome helps keep our bodies running smoothly. But certain factors, implemented both by our environments and ourselves, can disrupt it and affect our health. Take, for example, frequent oral antibiotic usage, overuse of skin cosmetics, eating unhealthy foods, and an abundance of environmental pollutants. A lifetime of this throws off the harmony of your microbiome. Let's focus in on the microbiota of the gut first. The gut. Your intestinal tract is lined with a coating of microbiota, but where does it come from? You inherit your initial bacterial residence from your mother at birth. After about one year, it resembles that of a young adult, but is constantly changing and adapting throughout your lifetime. Your gut microbiota isn't just there to adapt and live with you though. It's been found to have large implications on your health, both inside and outside of your gastrointestinal tract. It plays the largest role in immunity and protection. A layer of mucus lines the entire gut. This layer forms the largest surface area in your body to come in contact with antigens, which tell your immune system which cells to attack. Your microbiota acts as a blanket on top of that to assist with immunity and protection. Think of it as a barrier competing with the pathogens for a point of entry. The environment your gut microbiota lives in is partially determined by your diet. Your diet provides selective pressures on the populations of microbes in your gut. Selective pressure is key to evolutionary theory. Essentially, environmental changes in your gut provided by the food you eat make the gut a more suitable habitat for certain microbes. The food, in this case, is the selective pressure. Thus, your diet changes the gut environment and the microbes that are better suited to live in this new habitat survive, reproduce, and take over your gut. This is how microbial populations evolve over time. These changes may contribute to obesity, diabetes, irritable bowel syndrome, and more. The research involved thus far has only scratched the surface of what's to come in this new field. Recently, people who have had discordance in their gut bacteria have been able to re-establish a balance using fecal transplants. Further research continues to explore similarities and differences between the microbiomes of one body region, such as the gut, to another as we'll see in our next topic, the skin. The skin is the largest organ on the human body. 
A flourishing and diverse range of microbiota inhabit areas all over the outer layer of the skin. Right now, scientists are trying to classify the microorganisms that inhabit different skin regions. Microbial composition varies in dry, moist, and oily parts of the skin. Fungal and viral species, along with bacteria, compete for space and nutrients within their niche skin environments. The array of bacteria on the skin acts as a second layer of defense that works with the body's own immune system to fight off infection and disease. By triggering an immune response, microbiota can actually help block toxins and intrusive, harmful pathogens from penetrating the inner skin layers. However, much like in the gut, the delicate balance can go haywire. External factors like skin cosmetics, antibacterial medications, and environmental pollutants provide selective pressures on the skin's microbial populations. Altering this balance can predispose the skin to infection and inflammatory response. So, what have we learned? You are more than just your DNA. We have explored beyond to the epigenome and now your microbiome. Another facet of your biological identity is the composition of your microbiome, the microbial organ that's unique to your body and essential for your health. This organ evolves with you, is constantly being shaped by your external environment, your hygienic practices, the food you eat, and more. Unfortunately, our lifestyles can throw these microbial populations off balance. Scientists are only beginning to understand what this imbalance means for human health. Just a few things to consider when you are the universe.